I think this picture perfectly illustrates me and I do love my job. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is uh, Team Aquascape, it's not my channel. Oh, oh, that's the wrong shirt. This is Team Aquascape. This is not Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy's channel. I wanna give you guys a quick tour of Aqualand. I wanna give you a perspective of what we do here because it's a bit of an unusual business and we have this Team Aquascape channel which really promotes ponds done right, customer serve right and my goal is ultimately to get more people inspired to be in this hobby and then more contractors and retailers inspired to do ponds done right customer serve right so i thought a good way to do that would be to show you around aqualand here is the retail store look at this this is brian helfers this is normally his channel team aquascape and give me that no 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 i'm i'm doing your video for you because <laughs> i wanted people to get a context of what we do here at aquascape so since i just ran into you give us a little tour of your display Play gardens. So obviously this is our retail store. Put this together a couple weeks ago. This used to be some basalt columns, the spillway bowl is up there, much different looking streams. What I love best is the waterfall. Even more important than the waterfall is now we've created a vignette. So people can actually visualize what this would look in their backyard. I have a little deck here. Oh. That's right, living the lifestyle. You started off with those seven, eight years ago. These came out last year, and then this year you made the spears, right? Spears, yep. Even these would be bomb, because originally they were just curved ones. We didn't even plumb them, we just used them as retaining walls. I know, I've never seen that, but that looks awesome. We got a pondless right. waterfall. And then if you turn around really quick, we just added those. Oh, I never even seen Right. Them. When did you do this, yesterday, yesterday. or something? Nice. See, this is what makes my gap fun. <laughs> I didn't tell them to do this, and I come here and there's something new. So you got the Mongolian basalt rocks. It looks like Carlos has been busy over here, coming up with new driftwood with the heat Lamps. Yeah, there's Frito. So Frito is my favorite turtle here. He's an Eastern box if I had a favorite turtle. You know why he's my favorite turtle, Brian? Uh, because he looks like you. He doesn't look like me. <laughs> he's way better looking. Because he doesn't do anything? Well, that's a turtle for you. <laughs> no, because he's the only box turtle that we have here. Uh, am I your favorite employee because I'm the only redhead that works for you? We'll leave it at that. Okay. This has been here forever. This was originally a very formal water wall that came down. There's our iguana. Somebody gave me, people just give me things, and so we got this. He looks a little like you. Funny enough though, I was just looking at this whole thing and I want to rip all of this down, but of that's course. probably next year. Yeah, really, there's only so much time in the, in the off season. And this is Amy, our director of first impressions and also my executive assistant, and this week her hair is green. Next week hey, it'll hey. be something different. Amy's the best. She's actually pretty cool. What do we actually sell here? How do we make money in this company? I work really, really hard. Counts for half of it. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Aquascape is obviously a manufacturer of pond products. So we sell everything from the nuts and bolts to the waterfalls and everything you need to build a pond. We've got the underwater light, we've got the water treatments, we have the filters, and then we have all the other types of things like spillway bowls and patio ponds. Everybody wants a water feature, they just don't know it yet. We have every type of water feature you could possibly think of. So if you don't want something than like this. Which is a standard pond. Gorgeous, by the way. What does this go for, like nine grand? 9,500, yeah. 95, but look what they've installed. I just noticed this. Look at how those fish are swimming in a current. Oh, they got it. They love it. Our brand new pond power heads. So that is a jet. They really are liking that. Look at how they love it. It is a fish treadmill now. Yes. Right? <laughs> fish treadmill, first of its kind. Fish love it because koi, believe it or not, are just carp. They got nice colors in them and they're river fish, so they love the current. Talk about a koi treadmill. They totally love that. They get pushed back that. and then they Look swim against it. So happy, I can see them smiling. And when they get tired, they can go take a rest over there. <laughs> huh? The new spears. Yeah. And now you kind of the concept here, buddy. Actually, those two fish, that Kohaku right there, there's one more in here. That's the number one video that we have on Greg Witsock the Pond Guy. Those, those came from California. You picked those guys up. I picked them out and from coming to my house to <laughs> It warms up a little no. bit. They didn't redo the pond, but they redid that waterfall. I love the new waterfall. Because you split it. Well, it, it split it and it opened it up. Before, that waterfall was really just visible from over there. Now you can see it from here. Okay, so now this price is a little bit more than a $9,500 one. Why? Well, look at the size of the pond. It's more than three times larger. The waterfall is three times bigger. And you have every bell and whistle on this and one. It's got everything. It's got lights. It's got dosing systems. It's got the spillway bowl. It's got a pretty big waterfall. And when I say big, it's really only about two feet high. Right. But, um, it looks much grander than all that other stuff over there. Bigger boulders in here. I mean, we still move these rocks by hand. 
but they're way more challenging than some of those watermelons. Right, and it takes a lot longer. And then you there's also something unique in this, which I thought was pretty cool. You actually use your architectural walls inside the pond, right? Yep. And so what it, the idea is to give it this spring-fed look from underneath the patio. So when you're sitting up here, which would be considered your main viewing area, you hear the sound of that water running underneath your feet. It also works as a way to just kind of push water over here. So rather than using a big power head, we've just got these architectural walls that moves that water from this area. That's here. right. This is all the fun you know, design studio, retail store up there. This is how we actually make money though, in the big time, and that is we sell to people all over the world. So I know that you've got some grandiose visions of this new office space here to be more like a design studio for customers to come in for yeah. the local market. What and is again, it? Again, we're gonna show the whole process of this being, so you can see the before, the journey, and after it all. But I want a place where potential customers can kind of come and get more inspired and motivated. Technically, Greg, I will have the best office in here next to yours, next to mine. Right. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to show you my office here next. Yeah, because okay. yours is pretty nice. We'll have a pretty badass fish tank, though. Okay, I love it. All right, thanks for the impromptu tour, Brian. All right, in my office, I'm a big Ohio State Buckeye fan. This is how we got started in the business. Sorry, guys, am I interrupting you? You've been in my office for like a long time. That was the very first mail order catalog that we did in the spring of 95. At one time I was mailing at 3.1 million. That's my first backyard pond that I built in 1982. That's a night blooming water lily. But you can see all of the different ones. And down here we have our general big meetings. And up here's my view of Colorado, which is what this kind of looks like. Out here there's the DuPage Airport. This is St. Charles, that's West Chicago. This is Kane County, that's DuPage County. But here's my office. Here's my better half, a couple tanks. My favorite place on earth, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Hard to see with the glare. My massage chair where I love to return emails. This is probably my favorite picture of all of Aqualand. This is my high school football coach, Coach Rex. The most intimidating dude that I ever met in my life. I got, I was given this after speaking at a fellow of a Christian Athletes event. I sit there, people sit there, we can both see this picture because I realize that I can be intimidating sometimes to teammates and I wanna understand how they're thinking. So anyway, this is my office. I'm very rarely here. I mostly travel on the road shooting vlogs just like this. And I'm gonna also show you the warehouse. This is kind of a cool wall here that I'd love to show you. This is the history wall of Aquascape. There's Samson, my first turtle. There's actually my first pond. So we all started somewhere, right? And that first pond leaked, turned green, even my prized turtle migrated away. I'll actually put a link below to the 25 year history video that came out three years ago since we're in our 28th year. So you can actually see the whole background of this business and how it all got it started, all the different buildings that we were in. Look at that. There's Ed with hair. There's Brian when he was an 18 year old kid and started working for me. That's when I was actually out in the field in great shape, you know, building ponds every day. There's my mom. <laughs> Half of our roof, how cool is that? So we'll show you a whole video, of some of the famous people that we've built ponds for over the years, or our certified conifers have. Yes, Will Smith has an aquascape pond, Dr. Pohl, Captain Kirk, Caesar Milan helped us with our own TV show, Pond Stars, that was on Nat Geo Wild. But that's not what this video is, it's just a quick tour of Aqualand, I'm glad Brian was able to. And then kind of one of my favorite places that I'm still working on is the little aquascape zoo back here. In the afternoon, I come and sit right here with my coffee about 2.30 in the afternoon, and this is my view right here of these three tanks that were put together by Heiko Blair. Blair Biotopes, we're actually gonna show a video of us going very soon on Team Aquascape. Ed and I going down with Heiko Blair finding 10 new freshwater fish species in uh, the Rio Negro down in Brazil and right next to Colombian border. Here's a snake. This is the most controversial animal at Aquascape. People don't like snakes. Some people don't. I think they're cool. I love turtles. I like snakes and other reptiles. Speaking of other reptiles, Brian Barczyk. Check out his channel. He gave me a purple tongue skink. You can see him right back here. His name is Popsicle. So I've got a couple reptiles. Probably the coolest reptile. Actually, the definitely the coolest is my Asian water monitor right here that I got from my other buddy, Jay at Prehistoric Pets. Look at this guy. He eats tilapia or goldfish that we feed him. And this tank is kind of cool. I actually got this from my other friends over at Tanked. Wade and over at Acrylic Tank Manufacturers, the TV show Tanked. They actually built this for Dwight Howard Superman. And now it's here. My uh, turtle rescue pond where I get turtles. My wife calls me a turtle hoarder, but I get turtles delivered here all the time from people that they outgrow their home. That turtle actually right there, that is a 50 54 year old turtle. I know because the teacher had him in a classroom for 40 years and then for 14 years in her bathtub. And now for the first time ever, he's living with other turtles 
and he's got a really awesome home. You can see the sun up there. My favorite animal at Aqualand, going to be our official mascot once I get him a permanent home. This is just a temporary one right now. This is right now where Woody lives. That is right there, a 75 year old, 75 pound alligator snapping turtle. That's Woody named after Woody Hayes of Ohio State, the infamous coach. He's got more bark than bite, even though um, no one's ever been bitten by him as far as I know, but he would take off your hand. So anyway, that's the zoo. I have big changes coming up for this, but everything's budget, everything's timing, just like Brian was talking about. That's more winter of next year. Big changes back there, but it is exciting. All of the people that work here, how we actually make money, Here's our IT guys. Hey, IT guys. Hi. I don't know who that is. He's been here for years. I'm assuming he's a consultant. Oh, Cindy, I thought you didn't want to be on my vlog. You want to be on my vlog, huh? She does not want to be on the vlogs, but now she is. There's Beth in the financials, and I love when I see this. Good job, Beth. Hi, Jennifer. Most important thing to me are the teammates. Here's our teammate wall. We've got 115 teammates working here. Even our guys up in Canada. There's our behind the scenes videographer, Tony. Look at this handsome guy right here. That's right. Almost Since, 20 years. Uh, I'm a masochist. <laughs> <laughs> All the different departments that work here. I would be on the admin, accounting, marketing, human resources, IT, product development, very important. Only manufacturer in the world that builds water features full time. That manufactured water feature equipment supply chain management, i.e. the guys that ship the products out and get it done, sales, the one dog that we have left, I lost my dog last year, Buckeye, we have Balto, and the local market, the guys that get it done. And then, everybody that's been here for a long time. This is how you build a team, right here. The most important thing at Aquascape. The Aquatorium, show real quick our training center over here. They're doing something, I don't know who these guys are. I don't know what goes on here, just a lot of stuff. I love that. I love letting outside groups use Aqualand because that's the uh, Aquascape Academy. If you ever wanna learn how to get into the water feature business, we'll put a link below to the Aquascape Academy. We do that um, all winter and then in the summer, we do Pondemonium. We'll also put a link to Pondemonium in July if you're thinking about getting into the water feature game. This is the very frozen over 600,000 gallon pond at Aqualand. How cool is that? The uh, waterfalls completely frozen and even cooler is going behind the scenes here. Look at this beautiful little pathway. This is the only grotto in the county. I can guarantee you that the only grotto in theory. Does that just look like some bear would come walking out of there? There's probably, no joke, two and a half, three feet of ice in here right now. Looks like Narnia when it snows in here and it freezes at different temperatures. But look, you can hear it. The waterfall is going under a complete blanket of ice, probably behind a good foot and a half thick of ice. Look at the rock work in here, the stone work. All of this rock done by hand, put in by certified aquascape contractors. Slate work, just gorgeous. Wouldn't want to have to build this in somebody's backyard. This is a million dollar water feature, six million pounds of stone. All these rocks came from the Ozarks, but this is a signature pond at Aqualand. Aqualand is a quarter million square foot distribution and office center. This is a beautiful recreation pond. That's the dive rock, 10 and a half feet deep. There's an underwater swim cave you can go through over there. I didn't realize it was Jennifer's birthday. This is culture. This is what people do here and I love it because my number one job as the CEO of Aquascape is to guide and guard the company culture. When people care about each other, when it's more like a family or a team, like we like to call our teammates, it just makes it a lot more fun. This is the office, so this was my dream. Open workspace where people can interact with each other. Very collaborative environment to get things done, i.e. just like a team. Now the piece de resistance, at least for me, the whole third floor of Aqualand. Look at this weight room. Everything you need to exercise. I love it. Once again, you get a great view up here of the front water feature at Aqualand. An outside party deck up there overlooking the whole front pond here's the concept behind the whole third floor at aqualand those who sweat together stick together i learned more playing high school football about running a company and a team than any interpersonal communication class that i took at the ohio state university it took me six years to get a four-year degree because i'd be spending six months out of the year building ponds six months out of the year going to school but here's how we actually have to make money here i'll show you this as well as the rest of the third floor at aqualand Back here is the warehouse. This is a quarter million square foot facility and uh, this is where everything gets shipped out. So all of these guys out here are working, clearing the aisles for uh, cutting liner, pond liner. Fun and fitness. 
Those who sweat together stick together. I got in trouble by accounting for buying a 20 foot tall picture of Michael Jordan from Gatorade. That was my kind of artwork though, 2,500 bucks for a 20 foot tall that actually stood behind him on a stage. We got basketball court, we got baseball, we've got nine square, we've got gaga ball, an indoor soccer arena, which doubles for a sport that you probably haven't played since you were real young, which is dodgeball. Perfect dodgeball size court. And that, my friends, is Aqualand. That's a little bit of an overview of how, what we actually do besides make team aquascape videos and build ponds. Our main business is manufacturing pond equipment and shipping it all over the world to distributors, certified aquascape competitors, and retailers who carry our products. And I love my job. If you like this stuff, if you want to see more beautiful ponds, check out Greg with Dr. Pond Guy on YouTube. We've got beautiful ponds that I go out there showcase how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And if you want to see the pond construction and some of the behind the scenes of a super cool place like this, check out the Team Aquascape video. The next video is going to be showing us going to the Amazon and finding new freshwater fish species. I love my job.